every aspect of the wave is life or death. First you gotta get down it. And if you don't make that, you're on the reef. Then you gotta pull in under the lip. If you don't get through that, you're on the reef. Then you're in this barrel trying to come out. And if you don't get through that, you're on the reef. And then you, if you get out of it, then you gotta kick out without it sucking you over. It's, it's big rights coming at you and you're trying to kick out and you're going 100 miles an hour on your board skipping. It's just, just every aspect is life and death and a rush. Big wave riding, it's real personal. It's one man, one wave, pretty much. I've been very fortunate to um, ride a few giant waves at a few different spots with a few different friends. come out just really stoked. It's camaraderie, you know, you and your buddy just doing it on this life-threatening wave, in a life-threatening situation. It's uh, magic. <laughs> this wave with Raymana was um, really special. It was very dangerous and and uh, as I entered the wave I was blind. And I get to the bottom and I go, oh, right, I'm right where I want to be. So I turn and then from uh, the ski that was towing Raymana and Raymana's board made a giant foam ball in the wave and I hit the foam ball and I thought I was done for sure and somehow I got right through the foam ball but it slowed me down just enough to put me deeper than I needed to be, deeper than I, I don't mind being back there but there's a fine line whether you can make it or not. If I was five, ten feet further I would have made the wave and so right when I got through that foam ball I opened my, you know, and there's Rimana, yeah, right on, woohoo, we're gonna make it. And then this giant, big, six foot, I don't know how big wave came backwards from the lip hitting it, and it just took me out, took me up. 100 miles an hour towards the reef, just full speed towards the reef. And then I went upside down and around in all these different directions and, and uh, boop, took my kneecaps off. Wasn't too bad. All I could think is I hope I can still surf, I hope I can still surf while I'm still getting pounded. <laughs> Pipeline is, uh, I think, the most dangerous wave in the world just because of all the aspects. It's got so many moods. It's, it's every wave so different. There's certain days that are just perfect for stand-up paddle on a glassy day when it's giant. You can go out the back and wait for the third reset and just stand up in and cruise down and I hope everybody's out of your way and come down and wait for the inside barrel and get barreled. And I was out there all day trying to wait for a third reef wave, none came, so I went inside and got a couple small ones. Then uh, coming around, here comes a perfect wave, and Liam's here and I'm here and I'm paddling out. He's like, I'm going on this one. I'm all, well then we're going together. And I came around and took off behind him. Right as I came down, he faded behind me. And um, then he went straight and I pulled in. Perfect wave, really hard, really hard to make. Somehow everything went perfect and pulled it off and it was an incredible wave. The crowd's clapping and my brother's yapping and <laughs> it's like, you know, you just gotta roll with the punches, try and have fun no matter what happens. I would like to um, thank my sponsor, Sobe, Brian, Simon, Amy with Fuse has been helping out a lot, and Don Joy, DJ Orthopedics, they're incredible. They're one of the best companies I've ever worked with. Sea for making the best watercrafts on the planet to help me survive, to help me come home. And Surf and Sea in Haleiwa is a, it's the best shop in Haleiwa in Hawaii. And then here in California, the Clout Crew. Thank you guys.